we're gonna do some changes for this next one. So first, my idea is I'm gonna get rid of my quenching runes. And I think I'm gonna get rid of my maybe yeah, no, I'm gonna get rid of the trick runes. It's twenty for just one mana. So we're now gonna get in some focal runes. And with that, we're also gonna get high roller runes, I think. There we go. So now we have a good chance of getting magical crits, and then we got a good chance of getting super crits. And that's... Wait. Lucky roller only works with skill crits. That's good to know. Alright. Whatever. Well, now, because I took out all of those quenching runes... I am now getting rid of my burdens of metal. I'm going to put... Let's see, I need five more burdens, correct? Yeah, five more burdens. So we have all the good child birds. All the birds of scale. All the burdens of blood. All the burdens of evolution. So we have all the easy burdens. M regular monsters... Um, Super crits is always a skill crit. And then crits. Okay, good to know. So it's not just crits. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna max out um, Burn of Adaptation, because I'm okay with regular enemies having buffs. The main issue is when commanders have multiple buffs. So regular enemies could have buffs, regular enemies could be evolved. Um, then we have the Burn of Blood, and yeah, Burn of Metal is now gone, and we have all the extra mini bosses and challenges of that nature. Alright, I like that. Let's move on into the next thread with our pacifist that likes meat so let's see if we can find a weapon and actually clear out new game plus 18 with a pacifist that would be cool that would be cool all right skills right there. I'm taking it for when we get our weapon, so we're going to be really awesome. I'm that confident we're going to get a weapon. And also, I can't reset it to get a um, an item anyways, so might as well. Armor Shredders. Right. Maybe I should have had one Quenching Rune still. Yep. We are a new game plus 18. So... Our gold gain is... Absurd. Oh my gosh. I just looked at my health. Right, so in case you're wondering, Pacifist gives you only 60% of your max health, I believe. So, I have to keep that in mind. <sighs> Trait changes, not worth. Not until I... Get further on. Not until I get a weapon. And no, that trait change cannot be switched over to a weapon change, so. We do have to skip that one. Alright. By the way, I have enough Magnesis runes that I could just run away and it will fix me up. Alright. There's going to be a lot of enemies up there, so I see no reason to fight them for that one chest.
Ooh. All right. Well, we found the Stygian study, which is pretty good. Um, Stygian study does have a lot of enemies that just sit there and do nothing. So that could be... Is there any upgrades left for you to get? There are... So you could keep buying equipment and rune upgrades um, as you keep going up. So there are still equipment upgrades I need to get. I would need to purchase more rune upgrades for me to need any more of those. And I'm trying to buy equipment upgrades right now. Which means I need to find equipment. that I need to find the equipment for me to purchase it. Um, but yeah, you get souls that allow you to expand your castle kind of indefinitely. And I'm basically... The whole reason I'm going to New Game Pluses is because... Yeah, as you're saying, I have the castles cleared up. And I just need um, to get souls so I can actually... Oof. Try to get the words out. With souls, I can actually purchase... Um... With souls, I will be able to actually increase the size of the castle, so I could actually have upgrades worth buy that I could buy. Alright. That was stupid on my part. So there is technically upgrades for me to get, I just don't have them have access to them currently. Well, I'll open this door, but there is zero reason to go in there right now, because I can't even deal damage. Ooh. Ooh. There's a little ore but I don't think that's going to matter in the long run. Hey! Get an item. Obsidian Cape level 6. Awesome. Right now, 7 is the max. I'm going I'm going to keep going until... It, um, there, the final upgrade for that is that makes 9 the max. So I'm going to keep going until then. Aww. All right, I have max soup and max health. All right, at least that's the one that dealt damage and not the armor shredder. Actors home first. I should have checked if that heal. All right, that's going to be huge, specifically because I'm a chef. All right. Maximum soup. Let's get that chest. Well. Found our way down here. Still haven't found any weapon shifts. So the question is, do I head up to the Stygian study, or do I head through Axis Mundi? That's the big question for me. I'm going to go for um, Axis Mundi, I think, because there are guaranteed um, 
question mark rooms. It's there intervals. Though, definitely gonna be a bit of a slog to get there. Yeah, not interested. Not right now. Can't believe I did it. Again, it's better for me to have the meat, especially right now. The treasure chest I was looking for. Awesome. Glad all the enemies were complacent. I did not know I was that low on health. I do not think I was even that low on health. I think it just... I actually tapped that guy's head, and that's what that guy does. Ooh. Get this exit, if I need it. We now have lost our life reset, which sucks because we lost off of a single hit. We still need to find our weapon for this life to get value. We are not um, buying any pizza girls. Our general goal is if this character doesn't finish this new game plus 18, the next one will. Alright, here's our first question mark. And these are guaranteed, which is why I'm here. <sighs> spell change. Sure. I'll grab the spell change just because it's an extra item here, but as you can tell, not exactly good for me right now. Not what I was looking for. Awesome. Not dead. Yeah. Alright, fairy chest is not what I'm looking for. Whew. Question mark room here. Aw. Alright, another question mark room guaranteed. So this is 
This is what we've been looking for. Nope. It's fine, though. As I said, that trap is definitely... If, I want to take da if I'm taking damage from something, I want to be the trap. Right. This is one of the teleports I think is worth buying. And we're nearly at a million gold. So the question is, do we even buy this teleport? Yep. And now we have these teleports. Still know that I could really do about Void Beast Barith. We immediately get a question mark. Let's see if this is what we've been... What we've been waiting for! Oh my gosh. That definitely felt good. Nope. Alright, back to full health. This is a scary one to go for. All right. Trigger him. Alright, I'm gonna go in here just to get those things to stop chasing me. Pretty sure there's a 0% chance that anything comes out of these, but... I just need those chasers to go home. That's just a fairy chest, but... Bring them over here. Go. Yeah, I'm not getting that one right now. Ain't gonna end well. As I said, always better to take the trap damage than the enemy damage. So I'm happy with the consequences of that. Another question mark. This stem sounds good. More survivability. Well, we made it to the other end. So I guess now we go to the Stygian study looking for a weapon upgrade. Because yeah, until I find a weapon upgrade, I can't really use this character 
to an extent. A more soup. Can't believe that. For him to shoot. To shoot. Puzzle challenge I can complete. Hey. Not only does that give me max mana, it recharges my relic that's going to protect me. Good on that front. Found gone heads, cool. Recharged, awesome. I'd say those enemies are a little too swarming on that. Alright. Found Murmur. Can't kill the people laying down the trap, so... Oof. Alright. That's okay. That was not the armor breaker. Potions, we need ya. Potions. This rate we'll find Enoch before we find the item we're looking for. <gasps> Not mean to hit that guy. Now get off. There. there we go. Great. Well, it didn't use a lot of stems, so I have to be content with that. Mana potions. I do appreciate the meats, but I need the mana potions so I can recharge my relic. Fist through the world and then back. Mm. And try and figure out the best route. Guess we'll go this way. I would not be surprised to learn that those your guys. Ooh. 
levels of terrifying. Layers of it as well. How about no? Yeah, I'll accept this one. And I get equipment! A Sanguine Weapon 5. Still working my way up, I see. Oh my gosh. I actually found the crack and fell through it all. Well. Yeah, this blood I could turn into iron, so even if I end up not buying any not gaining any runes, it's still pretty valuable. Oh, did I get meat? Yeah, I got meat. Well. Again, we'll just grab another spell. Alright. Well, we filled up our talent. Just using that literally to regain my mana. Alright, we found Enoch. So now we're just exploring around looking for a way to switch out my equipment. Alright, we have paths to the right. We have some good paths to the right. As always, better to take the damage from spikes than from enemies. As long as we get that without getting hit, it's net positive. Hey, how's it going? If you get into a boss room with a pacifist, you have to press you have to return to main menu. You're not stuck in there until you die, but you cannot win, so. Anyways, how's it going, Kratos, you know? Glad to have you here. We're just doing our casual play now. Um, we have a pacifist, and we've been exploring basically the entire castle. Looking for a weapon swap. When I say the entire castle, I mean we've already explored three areas... In like, the two areas in their entirety, and we're exploring this one in its entirety now. Like, look how dangerous that maneuver was. I think it's safer to return main menu to get out. Uh, should, have, should have at least broken those objects to try to find some mana potions. Oh, well. Alright. So, it's left, up. And right. Got it. Whew. Long days, long hard maneuvers. Well. Would have been nice if I felt comfortable reaching that meat. Again, safe to return to main menu. Teleport over. And after that's done, 
I guess we go grab the keys and bring in the Paishan Dry Lake and bring them to their respective places, because we're running out of places to go. Sun Tower is also a place, but Sun Tower is kind of a platforming challenge. I just picked up some meat. I think it's actually better if I go this way and then come back. You know, I could go from the entrance there, so. Alright. Well. If I wanted to avoid danger, I wouldn't be playing the game as I do. Just want to make sure that chest was just a mimic and non-actual chest, which it was a mimic. So we're happy there. I'm gonna say my rerolls for when I find a weapon. Nice to have some survivability. I think we have enough damage when the time comes. This is where we are. This is our life. We have one more here. And once we finish this area of scouting, we probably just go... Uh... Come on. Alright, got my money. I am now out of resources, I'm pretty sure. I have damage on my body. Yep. I have no meat. And I have no... None of the stems. So we can just use any item we run into, really. Otherwise, this is our grave. While trying to find... I mean, I'm not... That's the story room. It doesn't have anything in it. This is actually huge. Oh my gosh. Could have been bigger, but that was definitely huge. No question marks. Alright. Well, I've taken damage. Might as well. Not how I want to spend that, but you are where you are. You do what you gotta do. Oh my gosh. Alright, well, as I said, always better to take the traps damage than the enemy nearby enemies damage. story piece, but I'm pretty sure for whatever reason this isn't considered a story place, and I could usually get items from there. I was wrong. Appreciate that, and I lost that already.
All right, there's a question mark here. Could be it. If I'm lucky. Nope. I can't really replace this talent right now. Because this is my best chance of survival. Alright. Also, we refill our meat. Which definitely feels good. Let's see what's on the other side here. Alright, another question mark. I'll accept it. Next upstairs, so we can just use this as a speed means of gain there. Alright. Taken care of. We just go up. All other routes have been purveyed. Perused, I think is actually the correct term, but. Nonetheless. This is weird to just a chest. Hmm. Oh boy. How I managed to escape that, do not ask me. found two weapon changes, two or two magic changes, two um, talent changes, plenty of relics. We just need a weapon change. Appreciated. want that. Can drink it six. That's fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. Even if I die because of that decision, I'm happy. Alright, I'm leaving. This was not this one was not a good idea. go down. I'm out of meat. Or other such. 
recovery. That's a fairy chest, but I don't care right now. I'm going here for all the objects I get to destroy. Me, I could find within them. Nope. Done. That was a laggy screen transition. I'm gonna pick up this chest and then just nope out of here. Ooh. Gosh darn it. I have to go down. This is not a room you want to be tracking, trekking through. My chest. I would like items from there, but I will accept that going through is not an option I have. Alright, so we only have path up right now. Yep. Okay, nothing over here, that's not good. There's a question mark up here. Thank you, meat. I appreciate it. Check this route real fast. Ooh. Maximum health. You meet off. Note to self, don't get hit by the big burly boys. Well, we found the top. So, before I go into Paishin, I just want to guarantee that I've explored every single area. So I've explored the entirety of Axis Mundi. There is no rooms in the Sun Tower. There's no rooms in the Stygian Study. There's a room in the starting area. And that's actually good, because that means I get to heal up. I get an opportunity to heal up before I head down into the abyss. And yes, that was worthwhile, in case anyone was wondering. We have a relic that makes that worthwhile. Well, 
Uh, nothing else is pacifist is about to explore the entire castle. To the furthest of its ability. Very content with its choice of life decisions. By the way, I'm not doing anything with this money, so I should... I might as well buy all the teleports. So, I'm going to do that real fast. With all the teleports I can buy. And yes, that even includes the Axis Monday teleport, even though it's of no value to us. Generally speaking. But we are... We have spent all our money on, um... Yeah. Basically, we just have no use for money. After a certain threshold, and given that we're already at a million, I'd say we're not going to need it. Um... The main use of all this money is... to buy equipment. And I think we'll have enough money to buy the few pieces of equipment we managed to pick up along the way. Alright, we'll go to the left first. Wow. Fantastic job on my part, truly. So those will still kill me, but they don't deal any damage to enemies. My god, look at that nightmare I just I just left. Alright, could I have some meat or mana potions or you know, something. Alright. Door next to key. If I can do it, it's this one. I would like some healing, but I have a feeling I'm not going to be granted that. Nope. Alright, well, I have the Hyperion's Reign. For such an occasion. Alright, this is going to reduce my max health, but it's not going to do it for long. Alright, looks like we're going down. a lot. An absolute ton. Of course, we died before then, so we have to deal with that and the consequences thereof. from here. Rope down was not an option. Fantastic.
nothing. No! Uh, Alright, well, we picked that up to heal ourselves instead of increasing our max health. If either of them makes it into this hole, I think we're donezo. You stay in your side of the field, I'll stay on mine. I like that. So funny that they have. It really is just a tiny room. No reason to risk my life. We made this much of a detour just to get access to that path. Alright. I'm not going to be facing the dragon anyways. But yeah, this pacifist. I just can't believe we've explored this much of the wor world and have not found a weapon. We're just right next to the entrances, so we even have boss fights if we want them. That's insane. Honestly. Should we ever find a weapon? The entire world seems to be our oyster. We have all the bosses unlocked. Let's grab... I'm searching this in the teleport down here, so... Last item is way over to the right. That's good. We're back to full health despite everything. Not interested. Two million. Growing still. Alright. So we just need to go right. Right again. Well, that was a stupid mistake. Alright. So we find the dragon. That's every teleport found. Dragon is pretty far to the right, so. So, got work to do. Okay. Hey, that's good. Just get out. 
We have the dragon, everyone. Alright. Now we just have to explore the nooks and crevices in this world. Which does not found, sound like fun, but like that's all we have left to do. That's all we can do. We need to go up and left. And yeah, because the room's going to be one square large, we basically have to do this. Oh my gosh, I was so certain, like, oh, I lost my health. I lost my charge. Oh my gosh. I could have gone to that fairy chest. But oh well. Important. Nope. Closer to that bo the bomb entrance and close to the top entrance. Alright. Well, we're heading to the top entrance and we're gonna keep going until we actually get that weapon. And once we get this weapon, it becomes a boss rush. Low health, but a boss rush. Get ourselves to basically full. Keep ourselves safe. Ooh. Let's do mistakes. Motion. All right. Anything of value up there? Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize there was an enemy in this room as well. Well, that was some quick dead ends. At least thank you for doing it quickly. You say speedrun, I still use arrow keys and six letters for movement and abilities. How does that work with an aiming class like the archer? It doesn't. That's why I never use the archer in my runs. Yeah, no, I, it sucks with archer. I have eight cardinal directions, so there's only eight directions I can shoot. Ends up... Ends up... Ending poorly. Yeah, no. The way it works with archer is... You just deal with the fact that archer is not really a class on your list of classes. So, we've been trying to find a weapon for this pacifist for quite some time. We've explored the entire castle with this pacifist, basically. Do you play with different keys when playing casually? I just never play archer, basically. Um, I've actually learned to play Archer semi-decently with eight, only eight cardinal directions, but yeah, it's basically, if I pick up that class, it's gonna end poorly, and I know it. Not dead. That's called a success. Well,
we explored all of Citadel Agartha, all of Axis Mundi, we can't enter Kirkwell and Plateau, all of the Stygian Study, all of the Sun Tower, and a whole ton of Pyshan Dry Lake. And we never found a weapon for our chef. Happens. Happens. We did buy all the teleports, though. 